Hello, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com. Today we're going to talk about tri-band areas, AWS, what this means to you, and how you can determine if you are in a tri-band area. We will be using information that's publicly available on the internet for most of this video. First, we'll start in the Frequently Asked Questions section of Cricket's website. And here we see the question, what is a tri-band phone and what does tri-band mean? A tri-band phone is one that works on PCS 850-1900 MHz, just like Verizon and Sprint, and the AWS 1700 MHz frequency. For Cricket customers, this means their tri-band phones can make calls without roaming in all current Cricket markets. To be a little bit more specific, the AWS band uses microwave frequencies in two segments from 1710 to 1755 megahertz for uplink and also 2110 to 2155 megahertz for downlink. The service is intended to be used by mobile devices such as wireless phones for mobile data, video, and messaging services. Some carriers that utilize AWS in the United States are Cricket, of course. T-Mobile, Metro PCS, and Cincinnati Bell. So pretty much for people that thought that Cricket just uses Sprint Net Sprint's network, this isn't completely true. In a lot of areas, they use Sprint's network and act as a MVNO, which is Mobile Virtual Network Operator. Uh, pretty much this means they uh, operate in areas where they might not have a frequency allocation of radio spectrum or a cell phone infra cell phone tower infrastructure in that area. So pretty much in these areas they have to pay a wholesale fee uh, to the host which in this case is Sprint and is done by the proportion uh, of their uh, usage in that area. There are other areas though where Cricket does have its own uh, infrastructure. Uh, a lot of these areas are tri-band areas. So pretty much if you're trying to use a dual band phone in these areas like one you pick up from Sprint or Verizon and Flashed, you will be roaming on Sprint's network in these tri-band areas. So uh, your services uh, may vary in quality. A lot of the people are experiencing uh, slower data rates in these areas because you don't have that same priority as you would in other areas that aren't tri-band where Cricket doesn't have any infrastructure and solely relies on Sprint. Some users have found out that they had to tweak their device by using different uh, preferred roaming lists in these areas to get their uh, dual band phones to work. And actually, you also run the risk of Cricket uh, changing uh, your plans because you're roaming so much on Sprint's network. So let's look at the specifications of a typical Cricket device. We have the specifications of the Huawei Mercury here. Uh, as you can see, the frequency is CDMA, uh, EVDO, uh, with AWS and PCS. So this covers the 800 and 1900 MHz uh, frequencies like Sprint and Verizon has, and also the 1700 and 2100 uh, AWS. Next, here's the Verizon Droid Razor, and you can see the networks, CDMA 800, CDMA 1900, and uh, LTE 700 MHz. This is a Verizon phone. And here are the specifications of the HTC Evo, which is on Sprint. You can see the network right here, CDMA 800 and 1900 megahertz, EVDO revision A, and WiMAX 2.5 to 2.7 uh, gigahertz. Now let's look at cel uh, CellularMaps.com. It looks like they've been able to obtain a uh, Cricket's network map. I don't know how old these are, but on the one in the bottom here, it shows Cricket's 3G coverage on their actual own network uh, sometime during uh, 2010. And up top is their pretty much combined uh, network coverage, uh, their own networks plus Sprint up top. And you can see how much greater the area it covers up there versus using their own towers down here. Now to determine if you are in a tri-band area just go to mycricket.com and click coverage maps. First we'll enter our zip code here in Austin. 
and we'll zoom out a little bit so you can see the entire city. Here's your coverage map legend on this side. Uh, the darkest green is Cricket Nationwide talk and text coverage. Uh, your next lighter shade is partner coverage. That's going to be uh, sprint right there. And then the lightest is roaming talk and text coverage. So you pretty much have to have flex bucket minutes to be able to use your phone in that area. And the striped area is actually, uh, it indicates the need for a tri-band phone. You can see a little bit down here. But let's go ahead and go to an area that is primarily tri-band and show you that. So we're going to enter the zip code 60623. And this should take us to Chicago. Many of the areas around this are tri-band, even outside of Chicago. Here we'll zoom out a little bit. And here you can see that darkest shade of green indicating Cricket's actual home network has uh, kind of this crosshatch right here. And this indicates that you would normally need a uh, tri-band phone so that you don't roam on Sprint's network. Now, does this mean that it's impossible to have a flash phone here or just use it while you're passing through? Not quite. Um, for more information about AWS tri-band areas, flashing phones, flashing phones, and how they operate in these areas, please visit our website at www.cricketusers.com. Like our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash create users and subscribe to our YouTube videos.